Hey y'all, it's Jay. So somebody had a question and I've heard this question a few times about angles. Now the first thing I'm going to say is that in every video where I talk about angles you hear me say these are approximate. And there's a reason for that. Um, when we get not, so right now we're doing risk management. Next we're going to be doing routes and then we're going to be doing the set of shots that you should be shooting uh, if you want to get to be an A player. Um, where we're going to combine all of this stuff together. Um, and what you're going to find is that I don't use exact angles. What I use is approximate angles to get to the rail and then I use self-correcting uh, English or English that causes the cue to self-correct for the route rather than trying to be perfect. Instead, I get close enough and then I spin to get into the line that I want to be on. So you're going to see that coming up when we start talking about those shots and when we talk about routes. Uh, but for now, let's talk about this question. It's really a good, a good question. The question is, um, what was exactly said was, hey, isn't a half ball hit a 30 degree angle rather than a 45 degree angle? And the answer is, it depends. Uh, number one, it depends on the speed you hit. Number two, it depends on what you're measuring relative to. So let me first say, when I measure, I measure relative to the direction of the shot. So center of the ball through the center of the ball gives me one line, and then the angle the cue goes off gives me the second one, and the, the, the angle there is what I measure. Okay. So I'm using the black line, the head string, to show this. I measure from the center of the ball through the center of the ball. So I know this isn't a great angle, because, it, and I'm going to use a different angle in a second. But the idea is, okay, the center of the ball through the center of the ball is always exactly straight. That's, that's the point here. So let me show you what the edge of the ball looks like. Okay, now, if you measure from the center of the cue in the direction of the shot, what you'll see is that, that in this case a half ball hit is a little bit more than 15 degrees or a little bit less than 15 degrees and so we're still going to come off the same tangent line we had right because the tangent line never moves we're still going to come off the same tangent line but rather than having a 45 degree angle measured relative to the two balls we're going to have roughly a 30 degree somewhere between 30 and 45 degree angle relative to the actual path of the cue ball on the way to the object ball. The red line here represents the center of the cue ball when you're shooting center to edge. And so it's cutting a little bit off of the angle. Now that's all well and good, but let's take a look at that from a different angle. So you can see here the difference in the angles is that that slice that has the little yellow line across it showing you the angle I'm talking about. So when you're shooting to the edge of the ball, uh, centered, centered to the edge, um, which is a half ball hit, uh, the difference in the angle here is the difference between your 45 degree angle. Let me explain that a little bit further. So this is uh, a half ball hit. You can see that the center of the five is on the line and the cue ball, the edge of the cue ball is on the line. That's exactly a half ball hit. So if you look at this, the blue line is the tangent line. You can see that this is a 45 degree angle. Uh, always has been, always will be. The angle from the cent center line running from the center of the two cue balls, uh, or from the center of the cue ball through the center of the five uh, on a half ball hit will create a 45 degree tangent line. Okay, now let's take a look at the center of the cue ball through the path the cue ball is traveling to get that half ball hit. So you can see that difference there. We talked about that a second ago. So like I said, the tangent line never changes. So we've still got the same blue line. It's still at a 45 degree angle to the original angle. But now we've got the... Uh, the, tra the path of the cue ball from the hit based on when it's measured relative to the path the cue ball is traveling is about 30 degrees. It's a little bit less. And let's take one more look at that. Here they are side by side. And you can see pretty clearly that the, the angle 
uh, between the red and the blue line is less than the angle between the green and the blue line. So, uh, and it says approximately 30 because it depends. It still depends. Um, the 45 for the line from center to center is always 45. The line that's between the red and blue is not always 30. It's somewhere between 30 and 45. Okay, so when I'm talking about angles, I'm always talking about relative to the center to center line between the object ball and the cue ball. So let me, uh, let me show those to you. Now, part of the reason for, that I do it that way is because distance doesn't matter. So if I have a shot like this, okay, where I've got the whole table to look at, my tangent line is in the same place it always was, and my angle that I come off the five ball is going to be the same angle relative to the center of the cube through the center of the object ball, okay? So when I say it's going to come off at this angle, this angle is relative to this line between the center of the cue ball and the center of the five ball. Now, if I'm shooting a half ball hit, Okay, if I'm shooting a half ball hit, this angle is different, the angle coming off the tangent is a different angle relative to this path than it is when the ball's close, right? So you can see when the, when the ball's far away, that angle is the difference between the center of the ball and the edge of the ball is fairly small, right? You can see there, it's pretty small. On the other hand, if you look at it when the object ball is closer, you can see that angle is a lot wider than it was on the distance. And we'll put them side by side so you can see this. Side by side, it's very easy to see that those two angles are completely different. So if you're measuring based on the path of the cue ball, the, the path is dependent upon how far apart the two balls are. And that's the short ver that's well, that's the long way of doing it, figuring out the exact angle. The short way of doing it is I don't care. I really don't care. What I care about is getting to the rail and using my spin to put me in the right line. Okay? So with that, thanks. I hope that answered your question and have a great day.